Hi, my name is Panar and we are at a bus stop in Easter House uh, for the Digital Commonwealth Games uh, for the project. And I've got right here, uh, sorry, what was your name again? John Paul. We've got John Paul here and I will be asking John what he thinks of the Commonwealth Games and just a few questions about that. So first, my first question is, what do you think of the Commonwealth Games coming to Glasgow? It's absolutely a great thing for the community. Uh, it's created so many jobs, as you may know, uh, and it's actually... It's actually uh, good to be getting involved in it. You know, I've actually uh, gone and get my swimming license myself to try to get involved in it. Uh, I might be too late on doing it, but I'll, I'll still give it a bash. Uh, but other than that, it's, it's absolutely a great thing for the community, for everybody involved, creating jobs. There's a lot of people on employment for so many years now, months. So, you know, it's, it's doing well. And my other question is, uh, since the Commonwealth Games are going to be in Glasgow and we've got the referendum for the independence, do you think it will have any impact on that in the media, for the wider, uh, for the wider community or for the society? You mean for, you know, for yes or no vote? You mean that? Yes. I think, you know, I, I, no, I think everybody's already got their mind up on it. I, I mean, it might create a vibe, you know, especially with Scottish, you know, in Glasgow getting involved. But, nah, I think everybody's decision's probably already made on it. Uh, I've not actually decided yet myself, but, you know, I think everybody's got their mind up on it, to be honest with you. I think it's going to create a, a good vibe and, you know, atmosphere about Glasgow, especially, even Scotland, because it'll be, you know, full of Scotland and English people involved as well. So it might actually bring a community together and might vote, you know, to keep Britain together. Well, thank you so much for sharing your views with us, John. No thank, thank you. you.